Now we have to go work with Benito for some reason. I really, Remember the hotel job? Why didn't they let He's us <laughs> choose that? I didn't want to do that. Why was that not optional? <laughs> I don't know. I also skipped the first line of dialogue here anyway. Okay. It's a lot fancier than I expected. Bright lights shine from the tall glass windows slicing through the darkening city skyline. Put some of this in your blog. Some dramatic language. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I step off the bus and hesitantly walk up the plush red carpet to the front door. The thick carpet sinks underneath each of my steps. The doorman raises an eyebrow with a hint of disdain as I approach, but he quickly masks his expression and opens the door for me with a flourish. The interior of the hotel is even more luxurious than the outside. The floor has been polished so perfectly I can see a clear reflection of the crystal chandelier hanging overhead. Up ahead is a dining area filled with lavishly decorated tables. This does seem like the place that would want free work from a teenage magician. Yeah. San, over here. Benito jogs over to me from the dining area. His bright green highlights stand out against the rich red color of the room behind him. I hurry over to him, trying hard to ignore the stares I'm getting. Um, Benito, I didn't quite imagine that the hotel would look like this. It's more luxurious than I had previously thought, but that might be a good thing. I hope they serve a lot of alcohol here. If we're fortunate, we'll get some handsome tips tonight from super drunk rich people. I was thinking like a bat like a rich girl bachelorette party yeah. would have a magician. <laughs> tips? I wasn't supposed to tip the doorman, was I? Benito laughs <laughs> sympathetically. Only if you asked him to carry that massive makeup case you got there. Is Benito a rich boy? Was he raised by a rich family? Then why is he working all the time then? He wants to be a magician and they left him. They were like, you can't be a magician. You must be a lawyer. Yeah, that's probably it. N no, not really. Then you're fine. I can show you the side entrance after the show. Might save you a bit of trouble next time. He tilts his head to the side thoughtfully. If there is a next time. Man, I hope there's a next time. <laughs> These trial runs are killer on the nerves. He takes a deep breath and exhales slowly. <sighs> Well, it's no use stalling. Let's get going. He leads me through the dining room, and I see a stage at the far end of the room with a thick curtain pulled closed. He's not going to be performing there, is he? As we near the stage, he takes a sharp turn and leads me behind a small curtain near the stage. The area behind the curtain is sparsely decorated, very sparsely, <laughs> yeah. there are two chairs. Benicia reads my expression immediately. Yeah, not so impressive back here, huh? It's a world better than some I've done. One of Adam's first shows went in a bar with so much cigarette smoke I could barely see him. I place my makeup kit on one of the chairs and open it. The box folds out to reveal the layers of shelves nestled inside. Each shelf reveals another collection of makeup in a range of hues. Whoa, that's a lot. Of course it is. Makeup isn't one size fits all, you know. I understood that intuitively, but my actual experience is a different matter. Benito seats himself on a nearby chair. But you're the master here. I'm counting on you. Sure. No pressure or anything. I sigh and begin rummaging through the foundation, looking for a shade to match his skin. Not too much. I'm trying to play up the innocent youth angle here. <laughs> I can't look with that. You? Innocent? Who would believe that? Benito stares at me dolefully with large, shimmering eyes. His lips part slightly and he exhales with a gentle whimper. <laughs> You think I'm a monster? His voice wavers as if he's trying to hold back tears. Is he joking with me? Punch him right in the gut for being super gross. Do we want to play along and pretend to comfort him or joke with him and say yes? Instead of just being like, whatever, Benito, and like stabbing some eyeliner <laughs> in his eye. Yeah, I'm kind of on that route. No! I, I think this is the yeah. best choice, probably. Mm -hmm. Of course I do. You're like 10 years old. Oh, he is 15! No. We out, we out. We're in college. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I think we're like 20. That's jail time. I mean, we can be his makeup artist. No, this is dating sim. We're not dating a 15 year old. No, I'm, I know that. He's in high school. Yeah. He's early, like, he's like at the start of high school. Is he, is he in middle school? No. He's like, he's like a sophomore. Well, no, because in seventh grade, you're 13, and then eighth grade, you're 14, and then in ninth grade, Oh, you're... so he's a freshman. No. Ninth, ninth grade, grade is fre freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Oh, yeah. Okay. Our middle school, ninth grade, is, is still last, in it. yeah. Okay, 15, and you're trying to emotionally manipulate a girl who needs money. Well, when you put it that way, I really do sound like a monster, huh? I cross my arms and tilt my head back and attempt to look down on him. Yes. Benito holds his hands up in mock self-defense. All right, all right. Help this monster look like a better person, then. You'll be performing in person and up close, so I'm going to keep it light. It only takes a few minutes for me to finish Benito's makeup. Well, here it goes. Benito closes his eyes and takes a slow breath in. He exhales, <sighs> snaps his fingers, and opens his eyes with a determined nod. Let's make some magic. No, no, Benito. He opens the door and strides into the dining area with a childish grin on his face. The door groans and closes slowly. I slip through it and find a quiet corner to observe. Benito is already chatting up a small dinner party. His hair got weirder looking. Yeah, it's, uh... Two women. It's only been a few seconds and he's already charmed them. 
He's 15! If it's okay. Let's just have a look at this dessert menu here. Um, okay. A woman in her late 20s reaches across the table to hand Benito the small dessert menu. He lays it flat on the table to inspect it. The laminated card is covered in brightly colored photos of various desserts. I want to try something. Are you okay with that? The woman at the table nod. Benito places a gentle hand on the arm of the woman closest to him. Which one of these do you like the most? Oh, um... The woman bites her lip and then quickly points as a photo of a slice of cheesecake. <laughs> Cheesecake. Good choice. He waves his hand over the menu slowly and takes a small breath. All right, let's see if we can get this to work. He places both hands over the photo of the cheesecake. Benito rubs his hands slowly. I really don't like taking this. Taking a moment this to pause and think. Both of the women lean in for a closer look. People from nearby tables crane their necks to see what's going on. Benito lifts his hands slowly from the menu. As he does, he reveals a slice of cheesecake looking just as perfect as the one on the menu. I want, I want someone who can do cheesecake he can magic. Cheesecake magic. He's like an, like an. A cheesecake vendor? Like yeah. Avatar? Yeah. He's the, the last and also first and only cheesecake <laughs> vendor. The two women at the table share a collective gasp. One of the men at the table over laughs and offers a quick round of applause. Benito slides the cheesecake across the table to reveal a blank spot on the menu where the photo used to be. He offers a fork to the woman who chose the cheesecake. Try it. The woman laughs and her face flushes red as she accepts the fork. She takes a tentative bite and her eyes light up. It's good! She barely finishes her exclamation before her friend grabs a fork and digs into the cheesecake. With a satisfied smile, Benito quickly backs away from the table and moves on to another. His opening trick was enough to draw the eyes of the crowd, and for the rest of the night, diners compete to get his attention. He soaks it up with ease, manipulating the crowd as easily as he does his cards. I move silently through the dining room, careful not to attract anyone's attention. It's not difficult considering all eyes are on Benito. On the other side of the room, I see a door labeled Employee Exit. Well, that solves the problem, at least. I step outside just as the bus pulls up to the stop outside the hotel. Nice timing. I hop on the bus and ride back to the school in silence. Okay, so here's the thing. All right, so here's our choices. We could date someone who can give us a ride because they're an adult, or we could date a child. No, that's... Those are two options. Those are two options. Many options. Okay, Adam's also a child, though, emotionally. I also don't even know if we can try. I'm just saying. Matthew, okay, Matthew might. Ma Matthew, but Matthew's not capable of... I'm just looking at what these guys can offer us, man. Yeah, so we could either date someone who hates us. No. We could... Uh, yeah, Haley. He doesn't John, hate us. Okay, we could date someone who's nagging us. He's not nagging us. He, he was is. just disappointed with us at the start. John is is terrible. But he's been nice to us ever since. Not really. I mean, he passive aggressively gave us a ride. And a job. He, he hooked us up with Lloyd. Um, he gave us Lloyd. I mean... Lloyd is a gift. I would... I would go for Lloyd, <laughs> but he's not an option. Okay. Thanks for helping out tonight. Come by the coffee shop on Wednesday for your payment. Oh. Better be money and not <laughs> coffee or pastries. Or, yeah, like a handshake. Yeah. All right, what we should, all right, what should I do with my Saturday? Let's go shopping. Yeah. I remember Lloyd saying something about a great fall restaurant downtown. Be nice if I could find it. <gasps> Can we go... <gasps> Can we go there and find Lloyd? Ooh, it smells good in here. I hope the good is if... I hope the f good is as food as it smells. Me too. <laughs> Say it. An enthusiastic blur of red hair bounds up to me with a big smile. Hello, Mr. Newton. Lloyd, Mr. Newton makes me sound like a physics teacher. <laughs> hey, I happen to like physics. Talented and smart. I knew I liked you. Lloyd motions for me to sit down at the corner booth. Join us. Us? I look at Lloyd's table and see John staring back at me <laughs> with an amused look on his face. Um... Maybe I should just leave you two alone. Nonsense. No one should have to eat alone. Lloyd waves down a passing server. I love Lloyd! Number five special, large. Small! I blurt out the correction before I realize what I'm doing. A slow smile spreads across Lloyd's face. So you will be joining us then. What if he was What if he was just ordering for himself? I think he already has food. Oh, okay. He seats himself at the table and slides over to make a room for me. I gotta say, though, I actually, I don't find it romantic at all when guys order for girls. Yeah, no, me neither, because it's like, what is in a number five? What if I'm yeah. allergic to, like, peanuts yeah, or something? Yeah, like, she's a deadly shellfish allergy. Yeah. It's like, the seafood special. <laughs> and, you know, Cyan would just be like, oh, I'm so shy, I can't, I'm just gonna have to die of anaphylactic <laughs> shock because I'm so shy. Can I hate Cyan, to be honest. <laughs> I hesitantly sat down. John nods a quick acknowledgement, but he doesn't say anything. The server returns with a hot bowl of pho. Uh, smells great, but I strongly suspect it's not a Small. It's been a while since I last ate, so I dig in. Yeah, no kidding. I don't think you've eaten this entire <laughs> yeah. playthrough. We were just talking business. Maybe having a young mind would help. I look up from my noodles. Oh, I get to be a focus group? A very focused group. <laughs> of just you. John shrugs. He couldn't care less about us. I suppose another mind couldn't hurt. Hurt what? Did something happen? Ugh. Well, we heard back from the higher-ups. They liked cops and robbers, but they wanted to be different. What exactly do they mean by different? Should we set it on the moon? That'd be kind of cool, yeah. 
you know full well what they want different mate. And I'm not changing that. Selena stays. Then you're at an impasse. The network doesn't like Selena? Oh, they like yeah. her well enough. They just will want an action show led by a woman. That's what I suspected. Oh. If we want them to pick it up, we'll have to add a male character to work with her. But that ruins the entire point! Sean sighs and rubs the bridge of his nose slowly. Misogyny! I know that, and you know that. The execs don't see that. All they see is formulas. The man. What sort of formulas? They want us to include a major male character to lead with Selena, but it's likely they'll ask us to set up a romance between the two of them to move the story along. Which is even worse, because the sexual tension hook is only good for a couple seasons, then it kills the story. The show inevitably spends more time on the relationship than the main story. I turn back to my soup to allow myself a moment to think. When you were filming, there was something about a serial killer she was hunting down. Yeah, it's the overarching plot. Every episode, she gets another clue. It ties the series together. Would it be possible to make him a bigger character from the start? How do you mean? Split the time between her point of view and his. Show what he's up to. It's very criminal minds. Yeah. Instead of her finding obscure clues, make it more like a cat and mouse thing. Focus on their conflict from the start. It would give you a male lead, but Selena's character would still be the way you planned it. Lloyd and John are staring at me. Look at Lloyd's face. Mm -hmm. like, hey. I slouch down and try to hide behind my bowl of pho. That's good, it's a large then. Syed, you're brilliant. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It is a rather cunning solution. I blush and poke at my noodles with my chopsticks. Thank you. Lloyd drums his fingers on the table. He looks thrilled. Look at how cute they are. I love this little ADD ADD baby. Both of them. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's rethink this. I wasn't planning on really introducing this guy until the season finale. Hmm. Lloyd and John begin trading off a series of rapid-fire ideas. Maybe he killed her family. But she survived, and she left him with a scar. On his face, when she was still 16. Which is why she became a cop, and she's the only known survivor. This is Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. He disappeared for a while, but he just resurfaced for reasons I know. <laughs> this is Harry Potter. And he wants revenge, but so does she. She publicly stated that she was coming for him online, and he responded with flowers. She burned them. <laughs> they talk online all the time. You're gonna play him. He- What? Lloyd chuckles. He looks proud of himself. You're gonna play him. I told you, I'm trying to take a break from acting for a spell. He'd be a great serial killer. He's terrible. Come on, Jamie. Come I on. Hate He's not John. as bad. He's I 100% hate John. You hate him right now? Yes. John. Lloyd sounds like a 10 year old begging for ice cream. It has to be you. Has to be me? Well, yeah. Lloyd pokes the table despondently. I thought we made a promise. That's Lloyd. I thought we made a promise. <laughs> and here it comes. Besides, you said you didn't want to be associated with the knight anymore. Be a villain. It'll break the hero stereotype. And whether you want to admit it or not, acting is in your heart. You miss it. <sighs> You're not going to stop until I say yes, are you? Haha, <laughs> you know me so well. Fine, I'll do it. But only because it's you. Aw. Lloyd beams proudly. This is going to be amazing! I glance down at my phone. Um, it's getting late. I still need to finish my homework. Oh, of course. I pull out my wallet, but Lloyd places his hand over mine. No, 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 I got this one. Are you sure? <laughs> Lloyd throws an arm over my shoulder and leads in conspiratorially. Syed, let me teach you one of the greatest secrets of life. You're so loud. College students should never turn down free food. Ah, uh, <laughs> words to live by. Oh, I love both of them. I love Lloyd. <laughs> well, thank you. And thank you. Lloyd waves goodbye. See you on set. Aw, but 24. Just realized I was like, slowly like hunting yeah, farther and farther just, down. Like, disappearing. Um, we need a new outfit though. We should go shopping. All right. But we also do need to sleep because we don't need to sleep the way we need a new outfit. Okay.